All right. So we're gonna jump over here. So we have joining us in the in the broadcasting booth, and I should change the names here. Maverick is not here. Uh, Blitzbolt. That's me. Is taking Maverick's spot here, and this is in an effort to do our uh, guest casters for season four. Mm -hmm. So Blitzbolt has been with us for how many seasons now? That's my second, actually. But I skipped so, three. Okay. So he came in on the league. Hopefully, you know, things have changed a little bit. Um, I think you were one of you were definitely one of our hero highlights. Also, uh, another uh, Mavericks here setting this up in the background. Um, another fun fact about Blitzbolt was he was kind of the original idea with expanding the team, uh, or expanding the teams, so we could get more players in, and uh, obviously make it a little more competitive as well. So sent a little document. Yeah, <laughs> a very official. So mm -hmm. we st we stole that I idea from Blitzball. Yeah. To like, mm -hmm. and that's what we referenced when we were troubleshooting. So, all right. And I'm glad so, it worked out. So we're all right. I think we're good to go with the game. So all right. So we're gonna cut across here. All right. Oh. So we've got Team Slimer and Dracula. So I'm gonna do a quick change here on the titles. Let me do this. And we've this. got on Team Slimer. We actually have Ken D, which I think is one of the strongest DPS players in the entire Chicago scene. Although he told me that he's been, he hasn't played in a while, so I don't know exactly how well he's gonna perform. But if he can perform at his peak back when he actually played all the time, he's a force to be reckoned with, absolutely. He was one of the first guys we met here at Ignite, and he has quite the mm -hmm. reputation. Yeah. His soldier used to be, again, I don't know how well he'll play now after this, but I played with him a bunch recently, and he was still really good. I'm hoping that he can bring back his, like, peak level because he was amazing back then. So just seeing him and frag out on Soldier would be a pleasure. <laughs> I was going to say also looking at the lineups here on Team Slimer we also have uh, we also have another uh, previous player Rexa who mm -hmm. was a big Roadhog player and I notice he's opting in for Anna. So here they are out of the gates. Let's make sure we got volume On the fence we have a very a typical spam comp in a way. You know, you put the soldier, you put the drunkard behind the shield, just have him spam down, especially on Gibraltar where they have to come up the slope before first point. That's good. And Death Monkey gonna pick up the kill on Gaden. Rest, it's mercy, boys. Here they go. Death Monkey putting up some damage. Gonna love Mobius cleaning up, but Arx is getting the kill of Rexaw. Couple trades, but we have Slimer coming out on top. They're gonna clean up. Mercy goes down. Wow. It's a team kill. Very, very uh, affirming stance taken by Team Slimer. So what would you say about their positioning here going right after the bridge, it seemed, as opposed to setting up here where I would consider up on one of the ledges? For the comp they're playing, especially against the Widow, you do want to do that, because Widow can get a pick uh, very easily if you just take the high ground. Well, by staying behind shield, you know, with the high ground, just here on the slope, you have automatically the high ground. And in fact, Death Monkey getting picked off by artists. If you play up there, you're Widow food. If the Widow has good aim, you're done. So you don't want to do that. You want to engage them after when you can have a more favorable engagement. Interesting. All right. So we see again, Dracula looks like they're going to the high ground, trying to collapse down. Artists up at the top there again, like we mentioned with the Widow. Two kills by Trinehard. And oh. yet, in getting the pick on the Mercy, this is a one fight. Wow. For Dracula. And they're gonna move forward on this. Mm -hmm. If I were Slimer, I would just cut my losses and try and get out. Mobius believes. Oh, but Daft Monkey. with the bomb. Yeah, Daft Monkey's being a little aggressive there too. Oh. Yes, one pick is gonna get traded, but it wasn't point. Wow. Unlucky. They still commit to the fight. Big guy getting nano charges in. Mobius Res is gonna get his mech back. Wow. But Artist is popping off. He's got two kills so far. Kawaii Senpai getting the kill on the Reinhardt. And now Team Slimer is on the run. Getting the D-Mech on the Diva, very important. They're gonna decide to go for the kill instead of staggering. They're, they're keeping on going. They're pushing their advantage. This is so important for a team to just push their advantage, get the staggered picks, especially on a map like Gibraltar where the, uh, the enemy spawns are very close and you can get them right after capping point. They've just got half the entire point for free. 
Oh, absolutely. They're moving along here very quickly. Usually we see a mm -hmm. stall right before this bend here, but they're going right under the bridge. But Slimer looks like they're, they've got a plan, though. They definitely have a plan. Chem D, there it is, the Chem D Widow. Getting the pick on the Hog, but it's going to be traded to oh, Chem no, D. Gets up, again. Though, Valkyrie coming out. Let's take a look here and see from Widow's view what's going on. That again is the KMD that we were talking up big time. <laughs> Ooh, going after the Hog again. Team, the fight is won. Hog should really just try and die as soon as he can. He's staggering. He's just making his team waste yeah. time right now. Can you gonna pick that up? We're gonna have a nice Widow versus Widow, Artist versus Cam D. Those are always fun to watch. Uh, that's what I was waiting for. Last week we had that match. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get the pick on Cam D. Traded by a big guy. Still gonna be a 5v5. Let's see if the Mercies can get a res on him and try to get the advantage for the upcoming fight. Nothing's gonna come and happen, but Yurtable and Kawaii Senpai both have their support ults. If they can play them, or, uh, if they can not overlap them, just use the beat. There's, the beat's coming out, you don't want to use Valkyrie right now. Yurtable gonna hold on to it. Can be getting the kill on the Widow, switching on the Genji. You have better dive, and he's popping off. He's getting the resets, he gets three kills like that. Death Monkey and Big Guy helping out. Now just one kill on the creep. Yet it goes down, it's an ace. So Slimer did quite a job here holding off. That's wow. Absolutely, and so they're still holding on to the nano and their um, junk at all. The rip tire can do massive damage against it like this. They don't have much to shoot at. They don't have a hit scan. They actually do right now. I'm proving oh, wrong. It's go. all they're going on the soldier. That's the uh, casting curse. If you yeah. ever make a call out, it, it will happen the opposite for sure. Mm -hmm. But what, what happens is that now the only ultimate they have, and I'm talking about Dracula, uh -huh. they only have that Valkyrie. Yeah. So it's really hard. If I was them, I would just try to go for a dry fight, try to bait out especially the Junkrat ult. That's the big the big problem you're going to run into with this kind of comp. That's how you're gonna get a kill on the right. So let's see, could you the use the Valkyrie though? You know, I know it's fairly new to maybe some people that are playing. Would you say you use the Valkyrie in the same manner that you would use a Zen or a Lucio to start an initiative? Or would you say they should be more reactive with the ult with Valkyrie? I'm actually a big fan of using Valkyrie proactively and try to engage with it. Okay. However, there is a very strong case as Team Slimer is gonna clean up another fight, still holding wow. on to all those ults. They, they have five ults, only Nano expended in that fight. Really good discipline coming out from Team Slimer. Not, like knowing they have the alt advantage, knowing they don't need to use them, being very careful. But as I was saying, I think that there's a strong case for Valkyrie to be used, especially when two people on your team get picked, you know, with the reset, that's going away soon, but still, right yeah. now in this patch, you still have it. Can't deal with another pick. And he's gonna go for the Dragon Blade. Oh, and off he goes. Pocketed by the Mercy, gonna get the Mercy and the Soldier. Kill on the Lucio, he can clean up. Wow. Kills the Zarya, and now he's on the chase. Oh, he is going after Trinehart right there. Oh, he's gonna retreat though. Get out of there, Cam. Risky play, but he gets... Oh, he's going back in. Oh, he gets killed up, they're going back in. in. That's a kill, that's a kill. Nice body block by a big wow. guy. <laughs> Those are big plays. You're yeah. gonna go for the res. That means Cam, you can just go on anyone else. No res for you. Wow. They keep on engaging. They're so good at just going back. Valkyrie comes out. Let's see if he can get the double res. He's not gonna do it. He didn't get the value he would have wanted from that ult. Mobius with both supports in one diva ult. Wow. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up, which they are doing perfectly. Big guy with two kills. I see a big guy. I'm, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm kind of mesmerized here by KMD's Genji action, but there's a lot that we just missed there. Yeah, Mobius, who is our player, the, our hero of the week mm -hmm. uh, last week as well, our hero highlight. And that's gonna be a win. All right. <laughs> so we there looked at the go. data, and actually, if you look at how a big guy plays, he is a very aggressive Reinhardt. I remember I played him last week, and he goes for just almost um, reckless charges, I would say. We can jump up here to our, so we can talk okay. here. Although I should change your name to Blitzbolt. That's fine. Yeah. The world knows me. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. But still, a big guy, he goes for big charges. Like his name says. Yeah. He goes for big charges. He's, he goes in. And that's the thing, if his team can follow up on him, those are going to get a lot of value. Those are going to get a lot of damage out on the enemy team. But if they cannot follow up, he's putting himself, he's really overextending. He's putting yeah. himself in a very bad position. But right now, the team has been able to follow up on him, create space and does damage. That's more than you'd want from your main tank. And with people like Kemdi, just cleaning up, 
all the time. We always we always talk about that alt management. If you don't have that, you know, it's 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 not effective. Yeah. It's not as simple as just having one alt on the team. You have to have that that communication. Mm -hmm. Using that alt economy, as they say, is another buzzword that people pop around with. So. Well, cool. Well, we will go back from our faces back over to the game as the team starts to make their picks. So let's see. I was going to see if there are any big switch-ups here. I see a McCree. Double hits can. Not a big fan of that, actually. Hmm. With that comp, you can break shields very easily. So that may hurt a big guy, but... Hmm. I mean, they can make use of it, but they have no card presence. You want to be jumping on card, especially in Gibraltar. You want to be on that card, stalling, and just contesting the card as much as you can, and keeping someone on the high ground to deliver damage. But with a team comp like this, you have no one that can go safely on card. You don't have a Winston, you don't have a D.Va with that easy escape. Oh, so right yeah. now, they're just they're just going to play high ground, but if Slimer plays it well, they have a lot of free space that they can take. So we got Rex on the back again with the Ana. <laughs> we got Junk, who's very powerful. Yeah, and actually gonna get a kill on the big guy, and that's what I was talking about. You see how that's an overextension. He didn't have the follow up. Very dangerous to go and play like that. On that right was now. really aggressive. He dropped down with Sal. There he goes again. Yeah. All right, let's swing around here. High risk, high reward, and just there was no reward. But Ken no, is gonna get that reward they're looking for. Roadhog goes down. Oh, wow. Big charge coming in. Let's see if they can follow up on the damage. Big guy goes down. Gonna get traded. And then Kim D again with the kill on the Zenyatta. Beautiful gonna res the Ryan. Both lines get res. It's all Ryan big Ryan kill. action. Artist oh. is anti and he's gonna go down, in fact. Beautiful, very risky position he has. Both Beautiful and Yetan are caught in server room. They can collapse on him and they're doing that perfectly. Gonna actually get the D mech on the D.Va. That's more than you would have wanted. Oh. Slime are gonna opt to just go on card. Are they gonna get it? Yetan with a big. McCree off that high noon getting three kills. Wow, that was quite the pickoff there. And that's a very clean fight. Yeah. You see, right now with the Diva, with Trinart on Diva, they have that card present that we're lacking. And especially now, on this exact point, on first point, you have so much high ground that you can take as a defending team. You can shoot at them from two different positions, you can set up a crossfire with McCree and with Soldier. Mm -hmm. As the Diva contests the card and maybe the Reinhardt as well, you actually want the Reinhardt on card for this. If you, if you just place him on the um, high ground, protecting the DPS, you're not getting the value you want out of him. So you want you probably want the two DPSs on high ground and everybody else just everybody contesting Everybody else card. down below. Yes. Maybe Zenyatta staying top as well, actually. Yeah, I would say Zenyatta top. Zalder goes, gets the kill and wrecks off. Tactical advisor is popped, only gets that, but that's enough. Actually gets the DMAC as well. Sorry for this expert camera work here. Uh... Slimer is caught in the server room, but Kemdi gonna go out, get a kill, gets res. Dracula should just be collapsing on Slimer. Slimer yeah, was caught in here, server guys. room. Yeah. Talder actually gets a kill on oh the Mercy, which is the car continues to move backwards. They're really split here, because big guy's up top mm -hmm. there with Mobius. And then we've got their here comes Genji and Anna, Rexal with the support coming in Two right kills. Here. I don't know about the trance. Oh, Kira with the trance coming in, so Dracula's got the offensive. Now Kemdi nanobladed, waits out the trance, but actually he's not going to get that much out of it. Some res is coming out, but Slimer is still very much behind on just manpower on that point. Nice shatter coming out from a big guy. Let's see if Yedin can repeat it. He's actually going to get the mercy. Only one kill, but it's a really important one. Both supports down for Slimer. Kemdi gets a kill on the Zenyatta, it's just not enough. Just not enough. It's gonna be another defense. Are we gonna see a foothold? Just one fight. Only a Junkrat ult on the side of Slimer. Actually, the Diva ult as well. Well, there's nothing on the side of Dracula. This is where that ult economy was so crucial. Kawaii Senpai did a questionable Zen ult. The Transcendence didn't do much. So you think that was too early to, to pull that off? I think the fight was won. Yeah. Back when, like when that happened. And right now, having that Zen ult would be so crucial to just get the easy win. Just go trans, fight on point, get the win. That's not going to get an important pick on Zalder with that rip tire. Arf is playing very push forward. Zalder gets res, but Arf is in fact goes down. Well, there's a lot of Team Dracula still behind them. 
There it is. Kills come out. Diva ult up top, giving him a little bit of time, I think. Mercy dies, get on the phone! Stay oh. on it, stay on it! No. Good old C9, it's happened every day. It's gonna oh. happen in pro play, it's gonna happen on comp, it's gonna happen in the Overwatch Chicago League. Ow. That's just what they didn't want. They won the fight, but it, if you don't have the card presence, it doesn't matter. That's yeah. Overwatch for you. It's so, again, I've mentioned this before with Maverick, is it's so easy for us to, to keep an eye on uh, on that cart. I'm always saying, there's nobody on cart, get somebody on cart. No. All right, let's see what it is. The Kemdi Tracer. This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Again, Kemdi in his prime, amazing Tracer player as well. Oh, yeah. There it is. Cleans up on Kawhi Senpai, and they actually don't need to push that much. They're getting yes. the staggers. It's hard. Slimer is not just... No, I mean, Dracula is just not getting part of me. A good fight is six. They're staggering in. Yeah, now Big they're... Shatter oh, big Shatter comes out from Sardis. Not good target priority on the charge. And a big guy is just going to answer with a Shatter of his own. Gets Nano. Goes in for the kill. Big kills coming out of Slimer. Now Kawhi we got another Transcendence. Artis is anti. That just doesn't matter. Death Monkey... He's gonna get one kill in Zalder. Yeah, Mercy Rise coming out. It's almost there. It's just keep going. The Valkyrie yeah. just putting the pressure on Cart, but it's just not enough. Mercy, last person on Cart. She's gonna get taken out, and Slimer gets there map one go. on Gibraltar after a very questionable first point attack. Nice work. They get the C9 and they capitalize. That's so important. You may. Mistakes happen, but the important thing is can you capitalize on those mistakes? And Slimer could. And that just netted in the win alone. They get all those stagger kills and they just get an easy way to the final point. So we always attribute that to uh, you know being a player and, and experiencing that firsthand. We always say <laughs> a team gets a little shaken up and then all of a sudden we start to see that sag that stagger or that trickle coming in. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the biggest thing that causes that? Is it team communication or is it just everybody all of a sudden gets all flustered? Well, staggers happen regardless, and sometimes you can't stop it. Sometimes the spawns are just going to be the wrong one. Somebody dies too early, by the time the point is capped, they're already coming out of spawn. The important thing is recognize when you're getting staggered. And again, that's just the game of Overwatch. Some, th some things you just cannot avoid. So what you want to do, you might actually you try... It's a typical dire get out, dire get out, oh, dire get out. Right. You didn't come a lot. I think I just, so when that happens... I think I just killed our group. Well, keep talking. When that happens, you either want to die right off the bat and just try to get the back spawns. And even if you give up some space for it, that's fine. All right, we're setting up our second game here. I just uh, just killed it here. Uh, there we go. And with that, he means everything's fine. Everything's good. Actually, it is fine. Yeah, yeah we're, we're good. Now. Game's still there. We're good. So let's see what map they're gonna counter pick for. So they either can pick uh, Junker Town or Ilios. Okay. So let's see what we go with here. Let's see what Dracula decides to go on. I'll go in Junker Town. Junker Town if I was them. They seem to really enjoy that that hit scan kind of comp, and Junker Town is a really good map for that for both Mercury and the Soldier. And plus, I don't think you want to go on Ilias against like such a DPS threat from KMD. If KMD goes on Tracer or Ilias, it can kind of do whatever he wants. You yeah. don't want that if you're I, Dracula. I was going to say, I actually just want to see more Junker Town play myself, but, you know. Plus, I love the open straight into the corridors. I love the changing. They're going Ilias. Yeah. Oh, they are going Ilias. Okay. Disaster. I predicted 2-0. Yeah, you're actually. totally right. All right. So let's switch up the map here. I mean, I'll, I'd be really happy if Dracula can surprise us, pull out something out of their hat. And make it closer or even win the map, but oh, they're playing into Slimer's strengths. So. But again, maybe they have something coming out. Something we may not know. 